Hi guys, what's up? It's Alex here. Today we are here to talk through the finale of MotoGP 2015. This is Valencia and we've just got a bit of gameplay in the background so you can watch something. It's nothing special. It's only the ever second ever time I've played MotoGP 2015 on PC. So, you know, forgive me for the gameplay. It's nowhere near as good as the gameplay in my MotoGP career mode series. But it's just something for you guys to watch. It was a picture all this. Let's just say that. <laughs> anyway, so let's get into today's video. It's basically Lorenzo versus Rossi for the championship. Rossi has a seven point lead in the championship, but, but he starts in last place after, well, I don't want to get into this a huge amount because I know whatever I say in this uh, circumstance here, people are going to have a go at me, but basically Rossi collided with Marquez in Malaysia last time out. He didn't get a penalty on the day, but the... I don't know, FIM or whatever, they decided to send Rossi to the back of the grid for this Valencian Grand Prix to end the year. So even though he has a seven-point lead, if Lorenzo wins this race in Valencia, which I'm well, people, a lot of people are assuming he will because he's very good around this track, and obviously the Yamaha has been very good this year, he, uh, Rossi needs to finish in second place for that to, to work out of him still being champion. So it's going to be a, definitely an interesting finale here in Valencia. I think historically Rossi hasn't been amazing around here, so it's, it's going to be tough for him. Let's not put that past him, but he's won so many championships in his time. Who would put it past him for him, you know, to pull off a miracle and uh, get? Was it, is his tenth? Is it, I think this is his tenth championship, isn't it? Um, you know, including the the lower class MotoGP ones as well. So, as an incredible feat, if he can do that, ten MotoGP championships. But then you've got Lorenzo there as well. He's won. Four or, four or five championships himself, I know. So he's had a pretty impressive career, and obviously he's, I think, five or six years younger. So, what do you guys think? Is Rossi still good enough to get through the whole field at a track he's not particularly amazing at? Is Rossi good enough, or will Lorenzo fail? Will Lorenzo make a mistake? Will he, you know, fall down in the heat of the moment? Who knows? But. It definitely feels like there's sort of two parties going into this finale. I mean, you've got the one side with Lorenzo and Marquez possibly working with each other. I don't really want to get into the whole politics of MotoGP, but it's what it seems at least. It's Marquez, you people were thinking that he was helping uh, Lorenzo last time out. So you could say maybe they're sort of a team outside their actual team. And... Uh, is it Iannone uh, as well as apparently trying to help Lorenzo, uh, not Lorenzo, is trying to help Rossi, I, I don't know, maybe it's just a bit of an Italian help hit maybe if he, you know, if he could, but then I don't know whether Iannone really is going to be close enough to Lorenzo to really do anything, it's really going to be Danny Pedrosa maybe what uh, Rossi hinges on here, if Danny Pedrosa can win this race and you know, maybe demote Lorenzo down to second, it whole, you know, really changed that championship. I mean, I think if Lorenzo finishes second, Rossi has to finish like fifth or sixth, which is doable. I mean, the bike is amazing. Obviously, there's two, maybe three bikes out there which can perform miracles. Obviously, the Yamaha and the Honda as well, as you could say the Ducati on its day has been pretty amazing. So, I don't know. It's definitely going to be a really tough finale. Obviously, Lorenzo, you know, Lorenzo surely has to go into this final race his favourite now. Even though he has the points deficit, he most likely will start on the front row of the grid. He always gets great starts. He'll probably be in the top three. Even if he finish, uh, starts in like the third or fourth row, he'll probably be top three by the first couple of corners. So, it's really all against Rossi. But... You know, if you put a bet against, uh, if you put a bet on Rossi to win this championship at the start of the year, you could end up with a lot of money at, at the end of uh, uh, end of the, well tomorrow. So, yeah, well, it's going to be interesting, definitely, that's for sure. I mean, I tell you guys, I'm sure some of you guys know I'm a Lorenzo fan, so obviously I want Lorenzo to win the championship. But you know, I don't want to get involved in all the sort of MotoGP politics. It doesn't really go well with me but whatever that's just how MotoGP is and that's how Lorenzo Rossi it's all sort of come down to this in a way isn't it I mean they've been both amazing this year the bike's obviously been great as well they've been so so consistent both of them I think Lorenzo's got more wins a little bit less consistent Rossi's been obviously less wins more consistent but both of them have been really consistent scoring lots of points between them it's obviously been a great year for Yamaha hopefully whoever wins the championship on Sunday it will still go down as an amazing, amazing championship. It's one of the most anticipated championships 
maybe ever. So yeah, thank you for watching guys, hopefully you enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section down below, Rossi or Lorenzo, that's it, that's all you need to comment. Thank you for watching, it's been Axe Goodbye.